<laughs> I think let's do uh you're shooting oh I'm shooting okay <laughs> let's do a 20 minute feature with a 20 minute behind the scenes uh featurette on the back of it or or we could do like 10 minutes of like a movie and the like, making of yeah the, <laughs> the whole movie is just the making of the making of the movie the making of the movie which we don't even have a, don't even have a title for yet it's, maybe uh, that should just be the movie title She's got. Listen. I don't know what's going on, man. She's got. Well, all right, hang on a second. Um, uh, I guess we. Uh, you think she's just around in this area? I don't think so, man. I'm telling you, like, she's not the type to run away in. Yeah. There's some really weird uh, stuff. Like the door was wide open, the fridge was empty. I don't know. It just. Well, I guess. Like, hey, well, hang on a second. Here. The fridge was. Uh, you talking fridge, freezer, drink drawers, completely produce drawers. Empty. The ice trays were gone. The frozen peas. This has been in there for four years, man. They just wanted all of it. I don't know. Or just, it? Something's just Some, not right, man. Like, she doesn't do this. I'm I mean, telling you. I'll admit that it does sound a little bit weird. We gotta, like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if you want, we. I, uh, I mean, I'd say we just drive around for a little bit and see. Do you think she's around here? I mean, it's just certainly a possibility it could, could be the first place to look if we don't find her call animal control i suppose and uh let's let's cross that bridge when we get to it right why don't we just drive around and see if we can uh i mean we're yeah if we're gonna really see her very easily this no time i night, guess but, i uh, guess you're right i mean i just something doesn't feel right about this man i'm telling well, you i know this dog she doesn't do this type of stuff mm. it's all a little bit too weird um, you ask me, man. It does seem a little weird. I don't know about the whole fridge business, but I think she's gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I think she's gonna be fine. Um, I keep going back to that fridge, though. I uh, 
will agree with you on that one. That's that sounds a little weird. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little weird. But you know, it's not I the just, most. No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's not what I would say. Oh, yeah. um, I just, uh, I, I think it is way. I mean, way too dark out, man. We have lost all light. I just don't even think we're gonna really see anything this time of night. Uh, you ever heard of someone breaking into a house and leaving no signs of entry, <laughs> except for yeah. the front door wide open? Uh. Yeah, you didn't and see everything any, gone from the fridge. You didn't see any broken glass or anything, did you? Nothing. Mm. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. Just something about this just isn't right. Tuna is not the type of dog to run away. You know, I've had that dog for 10 years, and she has never once run away. Hello? Is this Johnny? Uh, yeah, who is this? Let's just say I represent some powerful people. People who want to see the safe retrieval of tuna. You know where my dog is? You listen to me. Who are you and what did you do with my dog? This line isn't secure. I can't talk long. Meet me at the bakery. You know the one. <laughs> Someone stole my dog. We gotta go to the bakery. Let's go! <laughs> we could just make a, a, a movie strictly with Boca, just straight up 40 minutes of out of Soft focus lights. lights. Yeah, out of focus lights. I mean, this does look pretty sick. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I say we just toss out everything, throw it all away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 40 minutes of soft jazz and out of focus lights. Just straight up bokeh for the whole thing. <laughs> just, just toss the plot. We don't need it. I love it. <laughs> we got, we got, I think, let's do, uh, you shoot. Oh, I'm shooting. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a 20 minute feature with a 20 minute behind the scenes uh, featurette on the back of it. Or or we could do like 10 minutes of like a movie. And the like, making of. Yeah. The, man, <laughs> the whole movie is just the making of. The making of the movie. The making of the movie, which we don't even have a, don't even have a title for yet. It's, Maybe uh, that should just be the movie title. The making of the, the movie. The making of the movie. <laughs> we can go really blurry in that. Mm, yeah, go real blurry on it. Um. We shooting? We rolling? Don't we roll? Nice. Well, uh, we're gonna go find uh, Tuna. Uh, hopefully, we find her. I'm kind of hoping we find her, man. I. I I would be really sad if, uh, I don't know, she's a good dog, man. She's a really good dog. I gotta take this gum out of my mouth. Because <laughs> I'm just pretty sure that's gonna come out on the sound real well. But, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. Just chomping away at it. I, I'm gonna be real sad. Where do I put this gum? I'm just gonna stick on my leg. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be really sad if the tuna. Nah, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna say those words. I'm not even gonna say Don't that. Don't you say it, man. We're gonna find her. Don't you say it. I know. It, it's gonna be fine. She's gonna be fine. I. I'm a little weirded out by whoever that guy was who called you. I mean, this, I mean, admittedly, 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 this is getting a little peculiar. Do you think Just he was a, like a crime crime guy? Do you think he's like a mafia guy? Wasn't really getting a layer kick vibe. And not exactly a 007 kind of vibe. More of a You think it's yeah. you think it's intelligence? Well That'd be weird, right? Like that's not the world we're living in. That's not real life stuff, right? I mean, what would a British spy want to do with the tuna? 
what did he say? He was. What, remind me what he said. He he, he said he, he he said he represented some very powerful people. Really, really powerful people. And those very powerful people have a vested interest in seeing the safe retrieval of the tuna. The safe retrieval of the tuna. I don't. What could I? I don't even. I don't even. I don't even know how to comprehend. Like, none of this makes any sense. Uh, I, I, I'm having a tough time. Well, first of all, how do you get how do you get your phone number? How does he know us? How does he know tuna? And what is the what is the importance of tuna to this person or whatever whoever he represents? You don't think there's any chance that tuna could be like you know like a like a spy like a spy dog spy dog. I think that was a movie. I think that could be a real it's thing. It's a movie, man. I'm pretty sure that's a movie. And they base movies off real life. Well, all the time. As far as I know, movies are real life. For yeah. the most part. <laughs> that's how it works, right? That's why they are movies. I just said it. I'm just going to set it right there. That'll work. That's good. Oh, I still have the gum on my leg. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that was supposed to be a uh, temporary... I lost the gum, dude. Sorry, man. Oh, oh, oh it's somewhere else. Dude, oh, you man. dropped the gum. Wait, where am I? The gum? I'm turning around here soon, I think. You got a new turn. Uh, uh, where is the? Uh, where is this bakery? Why are you not giving me directions? <laughs> I don't know where the bakery is, man. He you, said I would know the one. Yeah, you said you. Well, so you've been to the bakery before, or the dog has, or tuna, man. I'm really sorry, man. I don't know where this gun went. Man, I'm going to tell you what. Wait. <laughs> I've never been to a bakery, man. I don't know what bakery he's talking about. The only time I've been to a bakery was like four years ago. Dude, you got to experience a bakery. Tuna ran away, and they found her in the bakery eating all the croissants. <laughs> all the croissants were... You laughed, man, but I, she ate all of them. I laughed, but she ate $400 worth. Did you have to pay that bill? Tuna did. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I don't know. I like legit don't know where that gun went. Huh? I'm trying to find it. <laughs> well, wait. We're just we're just gonna be dubbing the whole movie. <laughs> uh, so I have to move my mouth a lot so I can see later yeah. how I need to talk to magic.
been rocking around this whole place. There's no bakery. Yeah. Bakery's closed. Like, I don't know what else that guy was talking about. And then you get the call, pretty much, from yeah. As you're putting that though. And then you get that call from your boss. Yeah. Get a thing. No, I think it's gonna be because like hey, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just like tired. second one, second one yeah. I was gonna get. Oh well. Uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you just cut it off. And, yeah, I think that's. that's not what's gonna happen here? all over this stupid town. Yeah. The only bakery is closed. Um, so you tell me, man. Yeah. Who takes a No bakery. No, no British guy. Don't know what happened to him. Who knows, man? Maybe someone's just messing with me. Yeah, that's likely. But where's the tuna? It's plausible. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, not quite, not quite <sighs> understanding. If I were a tuna, <laughs> if I were a tuna, <laughs> let me, let me. <laughs> if I were a loony tuna, if I were a tuna, if I were a tuna, where would I be? Good question. I don't know. I, hang on a second. I'm getting a call from the boss. Oh God. Hey, this is John. Uh, this is um, Don. Don, are you there? Hey. Uh, it's Jonesy. Why haven't you been answering your phone? Jonesy, I. Uh, uh, sorry, there's uh, been a little bit of an emergency. What's uh, what's happening? No, no, no. Listen to me. There, there's been an incident. You need to come in right now. There's been a. There's been a what? Uh, there's been an impact impact? Look, you need to get here as soon as possible. I don't know what to tell you. They're sending you to be in the, dismantling the craft. And oh, just, okay. All right. Hang tight. Uh, I'm going to have to give you a call back. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Let me give you a call back. Don, what? Don, don't you dare hang up that phone. Are, are you serious? Are you kidding just, me? Right uh, just give me, ten, give, give me 10 minutes. I'll call you back. And there's a bit of an emergency here as well. I'll call you back. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. I'm sorry. Uh... Just, just some work stuff. Don't worry about it. Work uh, stuff? Did you say something about a craft? Um, it's just a little bit of work stuff. Not a big deal. I say right. we. Uh, still think we should find this British guy. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. I don't know if we're actually looking for the British guy anymore. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking I would get a text. Yeah. Here's the insane thing is that we got to get 40 minutes of film. There's not enough time. <laughs> There's not enough time. <laughs> <laughs>
because she's like, well, en route to the safe house, they were intercepted, and you're going to be like, by who? Like, uh, tell me who it was. <laughs> uh, it was... It was Billy Butterfingers. Huh? It was Billy Butterfingers. Billy. Like, <laughs> I'm just thinking of, like, oh, a crime oh, name, yeah, like yeah, a criminal yeah. name. Yeah. Bobby... It was Bobby Three Hands. It was Bobby Three Hands. Bobby, Bobby Twelve Fingers. <laughs> Bobby Twelve Toes? Bobby Two Toes. Bobby, Bobby Twelve Toes. I, like, I like Bobby Twelve Toes. Right, let's do Bobby Twelve Toes. <laughs> it was Bobby Twelve Toes, Don. And, and then what? You're, are you just going to be like, oh my god, I know where they are. I know where they are. <laughs> Maybe. I might know where they are. <laughs> yeah. John. I might... <laughs> no, <laughs> where they are, and then same deal where Katie's like, they're holed up in a compound. Don't like, don't don't go in there. <laughs> don't do it. <sighs> okay, okay. Ooh, that's kind of nice too. Okay, continuing on with the idea that this entire movie can just be out of focus bokeh or boca. What's boca? Huh? Jonesy, what's up? John, what the heck? My goodness, you didn't call me back. This is serious. We need to talk about this. I'm sorry. There's kind of a, uh, a major emergency of my own here. It's a long story, but um, uh, uh, we're trying to trying to find tuna. We're trying to find dog. But uh, this is just a little bit more important. I'm sorry. I can only talk for a few minutes. So tell me more about the impact. Where was it uh, and when was it? Okay, what's the threat level? Unknown. And the status of the operator of the craft? It's unclear, but it's a suspected telepathic entity, potentially of Neptunian descent. The code name is Tuna. I'm sorry, did you say the code name is Tuna? Yes, for the telepathic unidentified Neptunian alien. Telepathic unidentified Neptunian alien. Look, I, I'm looking for a tuna right now. That's the name of my neighbor's dog. We've been looking for her literally all night. Oh, no. Don, listen. Several hours ago, our agents apprehended what they thought was a tuna. There was a mistake, and they took a dog instead. While en route to the safe house, they were intercepted. By who? Tell me, who who intercepted? It, it was Bobby Twelve Toes, Don. Bobby Twelve Toes. That little... Oh, I just might know Don, where they, they are. They're, they're holed up in a compound. Don't don't go in there. Well, we're gonna have to. I'll call you back. This movie is not gonna make a lick of sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, do that again. Are you are you going? Uh, I'm going. I'm just going insano style. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Don 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 don. Yeah. What? Look at this, dude. Look at this, man. You won't find the man you're looking for. If you want to see your dog alive, meet us at these coordinates. Time, stretch the time out. Gotta hit feature length. I'm just gonna do a slow zoom. Gotta hit feature length. <laughs> I think we've discovered a few different things. First of all, um, definitely could take a couple of acting classes personally. Number two is uh, this is pretty frantic. Honestly, trying to it's so hard. Get this whole thing. I don't know how done. anybody does this. Wait, what? That's cool. Same less cool stuff. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. I I have no idea how much footage we've shot. You know, dude. I have no sense of time. I Part of me thinks it could be like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh 
Like, by no means are we master filmmakers, but you know what? Just, just, just like knowing that we just put something together. Yeah, I'd say we're probably some of the worst filmmakers. I would say we're near the near the bottom of the run. But, <laughs> however, how, with that said, it was it was a lot of fun. We still put stuff on tape. Energy. We put stuff on tape. Put some stuff on tape. No easy task. Man, no easy task. <laughs> it's like just polka balls all over a frame. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm still really tempted by the making of the movie. <laughs> I know. We like that discussion that, and then like cut to the title. The making of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I sort of think that should be the intro scene. I know. Yeah. I kind of want to do, well, yeah, how do, you, how do you feel about doing aliases in the credits? I think it's great. I like, think it should, I could, it should be like Don himself. <laughs> Janny himself. <laughs> oh my God. Tuna. Tuna. Like, it, oh, it, yeah. Okay. How's that sound to you? I'm done. Are you, are you, is that, yeah. you still have, oh, wait, we gotta get Luna. Or we don't have to, we could do that. Well. Oh yeah, we do have to actually finish our story. <laughs> People will be pissed if there's no Luna. Oh no! Oh, sorry. To clarify, I definitely want to get footage of Luna, um, and then we do the conversation that you wrote out. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. they're like, "Your dog is back home." Oh yeah, that works for me. And they're just like, "Yeah, that works for me." That, that's what you We're so do. sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, everything's back to normal. You're, yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, line. Oh. That's making me even a little bit more paranoid than the British guy did. God, I wonder if they're going to the same place. I don't know, that's also a good question.
tell me I didn't just drive all the way out here for a whole waste of time. Don't hang up the phone. We have your dog, but don't be alarmed. She has not been harmed. She will not be harmed. There's been a little bit of a small misunderstanding, and if you would allow me to explain. Okay. I, I represent a certain organization, and your dog, your tuna, well, you know, here's the thing. We messed up. There's been some uh, miscommunication with upper managers in the organization. You see, we're in the process of tracking down Tuna, T-U-N-A, a telepathic, unidentified Neptunian alien, or, in layman's terms, an extraterrestrial. Now, again, this is just a complete misunderstanding, and if I'm being honest with you, we owe you the deepest apology. There was just a real real big miscommunication real big misunderstanding the good news if you're still listening to me is that i am in a position to help with the safe return of your dog and in fact by the time that you are home your dog will be returned so that's it really what were you expecting man we're out of time we've got no budget there's not gonna be any cgi there's not gonna be any aliens you got your dog back, you should be happy. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I sort of feel as if you've wasted my time, but thank you nonetheless. I guess I appreciate your yeah, efforts or whatever. You should, yeah, you should be appreciative. Uh, you, should, you should say thank you. Maybe yeah. next time, you know, you're looking for an alien, maybe don't kidnap somebody's dog. Well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I mean, uh, no guarantees, but but uh, we can certainly certainly try to do better next time. I suppose that's uh, that, that goes uh, for a lot of things. I guess that's really all I can ask for, isn't it? I mean, I gotta go. I gotta go deal with some other things right now. So uh, I wish you the best of luck. I wish Tuna the best life, and uh, take care of yourself. Okay, thanks. Uh, you... Okay, bye. <sighs> yeah, don't don't keep things consistent. We don't want consistency, and we don't want uh, good continuity. We're looking for the opposite of that, ideally. This is the anti-movie movie. And that's a wrap. We're out of time. Adam, buddy, Almost Adam. out of time. We still got a little bit of buffering. We're going to be using it for some doggy snuggles. Get ready. <laughs>
So we have no idea how much film we've really shot. Uh, and ultimately, we're a little concerned about the runtime. So we decided to add on a little uh, filmmaker's commentary featurette. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> just, in, just in case, get to the editing bay and, and we have six minutes of film. Yeah, I mean, when you spend three hours just running around mm, shooting and trying to move as quick as you can, turns out you don't really have any idea yeah. how much footage you actually just shot. Yeah, I mean, we, we did one take for nearly, I think there were two, two scenes where we did two takes. Otherwise, every single shot is the first take. Um, <laughs> we just did one take moved on to the next thing in almost every case um i think except for like you know the, the final phone call we did two takes and maybe one of the middle phone calls i think was two takes as well but well and just about every scene we did i mean half the time we basically wrote the dialogue <laughs> as we were standing there yeah. <laughs> and then we would maybe read through it once or Maybe. twice. I, <laughs> you didn't even read there, the last know, one. There were scenes where we literally wrote the dialogue and filmed it without reviewing it. Or there's a there's a scene where you wrote you wrote my dialogue <laughs> and you didn't even look <laughs> at it. Yeah, I didn't even look at it before yet. It just went into the shot while reading it. Um, so that was that seems very atypical uh, movie making experience or mo- movie. Yeah, I don't think that's really what's supposed to happen. But it's also, like, even if we had a perfect script written, mm. I don't know that we would have had time to, like, uh, do multiple takes to get it right. Mm. Uh, it just wasn't... Yeah, I don't think... Right, if we had done two takes of everything, we would have been hours over. I don't think we would have had time to even do two of everything. Yeah, it just wasn't an option. Yeah, <laughs> I think we expected to be able to do a couple of tries each time, but... Yeah, you know, time went on, and we were like, "Oh man, we just gotta cut. We just gotta start cutting things out." It is pretty hilarious how fast the script evolved, <laughs> or devolved, or devolved. <laughs> That's true because uh, at one point there was like a, you know, there were like we had a, six or seven different scenes, yeah. many characters. Mm. We had a pretty nice outline that was still typed. I mean, it was like typed up in less than it, or you know, we came up with it and. Probably an hour tops. Yeah. Hour and total. Was, I mean, yeah. A very rough outline of what we wanted to do. It was probably a little more cohesive back then. We actually yeah. had like yeah. explanations for potential <laughs> plot holes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was there was a lot more exposition and um, explanation. Turns out when you're shooting you kinda just it just you just need action. Yeah, you just you just need the footage. If you've made it this far into the movie, or even if you watched five minutes of the movie, even if you watched part of it, just wanted to say thank you for watching. This was a fun experience. Uh, big thanks to Joel Haver to, or big thanks to Joel Haver for um, just uh, kind of putting this challenge on. It was a ton of fun and uh, certainly an interesting learning experience. Uh, and uh, yeah, the great so. Um, yeah, but thank you all for if you're if you even got to the end of this, then it's impressive. Yeah, that's impressive yeah, on your part. Making it making it through that absolute uh, wreck of a could have been harder than even it was for us <laughs> to make it. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't really know. I feel like yeah, we don't know yet. But I, I have a feeling that <laughs> viewing this movie is going to be much more difficult than, than actually filming it. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> who knows though? I don't even know. You know, we don't even know what this footage looks like yet. We mostly have not watched anything. <laughs> it's a black box. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully the audio is okay. Hopefully, I know that. I know for sure there was some um, um, uh, interesting, interesting parts. But anyway, so thanks and take it easy. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>